Hello everyone, it's Pete with a 32 back again. It's time for another deck review. And today's deck review is... It was very close, but it is... The No Name Deck. Let me just... Ah, whatever. Anyway, just the front of the box. It just says No Name across the top. It's similar to a bicycle. You've got your spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds, hips. All kind of in black and gray. And some nice artwork details. On the one side it says the US Playing Card Company. On the other side it says no name, number 17, and you got the pips again. The top it just says no name underneath the seal, from what I can tell. Again the bottom, no name. In the back you see the back design, black seal. There's a number number 02 on there, number 2, for some reason, not sure why. Inside, we get a bone card. Here's your back design. Very nice. Lots of nice details. Reminds me a bit of Smoke and Mirrors or the Tooth Gardens. I think it was designed by the same person as the Tooth Gardens, but it reminds me more of the Smoke and Mirrors. Really thick borders, but other than that, it's pretty sweet. And there is also a double backer. Everything is custom, custom pips and indexes. Custom court cards, I really like those, they're really nice. Some more pips for you. More court cards. Here's your hearts. More court cards. Diamonds. It's pretty cool. Jokers, I like them. Simple, but different. Here one looks like this, it says Joker along the top and the bottom. You got all four pips, and you got all the letters and numbers in the cards. Q's, K's, J's, 5's, A's, 10, etc, etc. The second Joker, oops, is identical except they've highlighted in red heart and a 7. So there's a reveal. Genius, I like it. Simple, but effective. And... I mean, it's a joker. What more do you need? And then, you got your Ace of Spades. Nice, intricate details again. It says no name at the bottom. And, it's pretty nice. Kind of reminds you a little bit of Artifice. Not sure what else. Some more court cards for you. Pretty cool. I don't know, what do you think? I think it's a pretty cool deck. Stock and finish wise, good. USB-C, obviously. Basically a bicycle stock in Finnis. I haven't seen anything to tell me otherwise, so that's what I'm going to go with. Could be an aristocrat stock, it's hard to tell. But they do handle very nicely. You can see, oh wow, is that? You can see where the cork boards are because <laughs> of that design. And that is the review. It's, a, it's an awesome deck. If you can get past the kind of extra thick borders. The back design is nice. The court cards are nice. Everything the, everything is custom. What more could you ask for? That is the Noreen deck. You can get it at, uh, I know, magicsop.co.uk has it. Other places probably have it as well. That brings me to what I should review next. There's so many decks. There's the Titans, which I got from the same website. The Chris Angel Baroques, White Baroques. It's still kicking around. We got the Butterfly deck. That's still kicking around. The Bicycle Come to Two. Still got the uh, Ritual Premier deck. We got Grid 2.0 and there's also the minis. I still got this Olympic deck. Still got the Haunted Casino Ghost cards. We got some casino decks. 
I added one to the list. <laughs> so I got the Sun Pacific. We got the Paulson playing cards. And I got this Blackjack brand, Golden Gate Hotel and Casino. So there's a few choices there. There's also, of course, the Fat Boy Eat All Day, which is kind of cool. The Blue Assur is still in here. Pretty cool. And I also got another one. The Mark Jacobs Vandals playing cards. Deck of playing cards. Which is kind of cool. And question time. And not only do I want you to vote on which deck you want me to review, but I also want to know if you think I should review the Summer NOC decks because it's the same as the other ones, it's different colors. And also the white tube card because again it's the same as the tube card, just a different color. I mean I got tons of reviews to do. I can always do these another time I guess. But if you really want to see them, let me know. That's what I've got. I'll see you next time.